Okay, so in this video, we're gonna try to connect to YouTube API from our app scripts and we'll do something, I guess, pretty basic. So uh, we'll try to go to basically YouTube through API and search for a keyword, in this case, guitars, and try to return results from that. So to do this, I'm gonna go back to my sheets. I'm gonna open my script editor. We have a function here. So to connect to YouTube API, we need to use advanced Google services. Uh, we can get to it by going under resources. Here we have advanced Google services and it's gonna ask us to name our project, something like that, as good as any. I'm gonna hit okay. Saving our project apparently takes a little bit. So that takes us to this panel and in this panel, we're gonna scroll down until we find YouTube, there it is. We need data API for this version three. So it's off, as you can see, we're gonna switch it to on and the object is gonna be called YouTube. That's what it is, it's fine. We'll just keep what it is. Now, when you turn this on, you need to make sure you also turn this API on in your developer's console. So it gives you the link right here. So I'm gonna click on this. Now I'm gonna go here on top and do enable APIs and services. Here we need to search for the same API we're trying to use, so that's YouTube. I need data API version three. We need to enable this. So that's good, the setup is done. I'm gonna close developers console. We need to remember what this is called, YouTube. I'm gonna hit okay. So now we should have access to that YouTube. So we'll start with search. So I wanted to be able to search, remember here, guitars and get some results, right? So to do that, I'm gonna do search and period and list and we need to do this part. And the part is what you want to be returned as a result. So there's this part that's called snippet and that's like a little bit of information different type of information like description title and this type of information about your videos and we need to pass this object one of those parameters is q parameter which is the keyword we're searching for so we're going to set it to whatever we're searching for in this case we're going to be searching for guitars and i'm going to do semicolon to end the line. Now, this is gonna return something as a result. So I'll just call it var sr for search results, I guess. And let's just log this out to see what we get. Save this, I'm gonna run this. So when you run this for the first time, you're probably gonna be getting this window to give permissions to run this. So you're gonna have to give permissions with your account. And it's gonna run our script. So if I go on the view and logs, it's gonna give us the results back. So in this results, it gives us the region, the next page token, which we'll probably talk about in just a little bit, so it gives us total results for this, results per page, so we're gonna get five results. And then finally, the part that we should be interested in right now is this items. So items are the actual search results. So let's just look at that items only to see what that gives us. And you see it gives us an array of search results. So let me just run this again. Go back to the log. Here we go, so this item is gonna have this snippet in it and that snippet has all of these different properties like published ad, description. We should probably have the title here someplace too. Uh, there it is, title. See my entire guitar collection, whatever that is. So let's just log the title only of this videos and see what it looks like. I think it was title. So items.title should get us the title. 
Let's just run this and see what we get. So I forgot this items is an array, so we have to run through that array. So let's just do like a for each loop. And we're gonna pass a function. I'll just call it vid as a parameter and we'll do vid.title because for each argument in that array, we are just gonna get the title. So uh, we need to console log, not that, but we need to console log the actual title. So let's just move this console log here. So semicolon to finish this over here. So just to go over this again, so we get this array of items and for that array of items, we're gonna run a for each loop and in that for each loop, which opens here and closes all the way here in the end, we're gonna have this function and that function is gonna get this parameter, which is gonna be the actual content for each one of those array elements and we're gonna log the title part of that. So let's just run this to see what this looks like. A bunch of undefined, so something is wrong. Let's take a look here again. Let's just log the vid like this to see what I missed here. I'm gonna log this out, so there's the first one. Oh, so there is the snippet and inside of that snippet, we have the title. So instead of just doing vid.title, we have to do this. Run this again. Ah, uh, of course, there it is. Let's take a look. There it is, my entire Guitar collection, 15 most unusual guitars of all time. See, those are the titles of these videos. Now this might or might not match the actual results I was getting when I was searching because it takes the location and other things to get your search results. But let's just take a look, right? So I don't see that my entire guitar collection thing. Oh, there it is. So that's apparently in those search results, it's getting this video as the first one. And then we have 15 most unusual guitars of all time, which is this one apparently. So these are a little mixed in their results because as I said, when you search, it customizes to your location and other preferences. So it's not always gonna be the same, but basically we get first five results. So now that we were able to search for this, so if you want to get more, instead of getting just, you know, five, you need to add another parameter to the search and you do this max results and you can do up to 50 per search. 50 is the highest. So if I run this, I do this, now I should get 50 results and basically those titles. Now what I want to do in addition to just getting the title, I want to be able to also get the ID of these videos. So to do that, first of all, I'm gonna remove this. So we're gonna come back to that in a little bit. And here I'm gonna add, in addition to the snippet, I'm gonna add the ID. If I just log what we get right now, this gives me, well, again, we get this region code and all of this stuff. Then we get our items. And in this items, we should have the snippet, which equals to whatever this thing is with all this channel ID and all this stuff. But we should also get, see after this comma in the end, it's very hard to keep track of this because there are so many things here. It would be nice if this was formatted a little better, but you can see there is this ID as well. And this ID is giving us the kind YouTube video and it gives us the video ID. So I want to 
simplify this a little bit. I'm gonna map this to an array where we don't have this much stuff. And I just wanna keep from this item snippet, I wanna just keep the title and we'll keep this ID stuff as a second part of this array. And hopefully that will make this easier to read so we can get a little deeper into this. So I'm gonna do SR dot items that will give us that array and we're gonna map that array to a new array. So that's a callback function here. This is gonna give us a new array. I'll do mod res for our modified results. And we're gonna pass each argument in here. I'll just call it, I guess, V for video, that's fine. It's not a video, but that's okay. So if you remember, one was the snippet title. So if I do V dot, uh, let's actually return an array here. And I need to actually return it. And as the first argument of that array, if I do v dot snippet dot title, that should hopefully give me those titles. Let's just keep this at that and log those results to see what this looks like. We get a bunch of titles. Now let's try to also add the video ID to this array. Maybe I'll do it as the first argument. So we'll do V and that one was called ID, right? I don't remember what was in there, but there was definitely the ID part. So let's run this. Kind YouTube video, we get video ID is this, and then we get my basically the title of the video, then again, kind video, video ID, kind video. I assume there might be some results where it's not a video. Okay, let's see. I'm not gonna go through each one of this to figure it out, but we'll find out, I guess, as we go through this. So let's just map the instead of getting the this whole id thing which is this kind and all of that let's just grab the video id out of it so we'll do id dot video id i'm curious if there are going to be any undefined in here not that i can see right now but who knows we'll find out later so now we have basically this array See, we have this ID of the video and we have the title for the video. Then we have ID for the video, title for the video. Now, because this is now a two dimensional array, I could put this on my spreadsheet if I wanted to, to get my results back here. Let's do that really quickly. Just plug them in here, ID and title. So we'll just put our results in here in starting from this A2 cell and going forward. And to do that, let's just spreadsheet and then we'll do active sheet and we'll put our results in that active sheet, right? So we're going to do active sheet dot get range. And the row, we're gonna start with the second row, the first column, so two, one. Number of rows will be however many results we have here, which is that dot length, and number of columns will be however many columns we have in that same array, which we'll do by getting the length. And then we're gonna set values to our array results. 
something like that, save this. If I run this, it will probably ask us to give us access for the spreadsheet. Advanced. Allow. So that ran, let's go check it out. Here we go. Now we have this spreadsheet with video IDs from that search keyword and all the titles from that. That was pretty nice. We got 50 results. Now let's say we might want to get some more information about these videos. Maybe we want to get how many views those videos have and this type of stuff. So this is where it's gonna get a little more complicated. Now, if I just go back and log this results really quickly here, just to that. Okay, so now if we look here, see we have this items, we have this description, we have this thumbnails. So it gives us a lot of information, but what it doesn't give us is like number of views. So to be able to get that, we have to grab it from the videos themselves. And that's why we're gonna need this video ID. So we have to search for this video ID and get the view count and all that information for that particular video. Now to do that, we're gonna go inside of this YouTube thing again. And we're gonna do videos. And we're gonna do list again. And again, we have to provide the part string part, which is what we want about the video. So the part we're gonna get for the video is gonna be statistics for the video. The optional argument is gonna be what we need to send about this. So we should be able to send the ID for the video. So if I do, let's just do one example so you can see how this works. So if I grab this ID for this first video that says my entire guitar collection, right? I set it to that ID, save this in a variable, right? So that's our variable and let's just log it out to see what this looks like. which is our stats. Let's just not log out that so we don't have to look at this. So here we go. So what we get as a results pack, see we got this new object and we have this kind, page info, e-tag, items, and statistics. So the statistics, has all of this information about the like count, dislike count, view count, right? So let's just do the statistics thing. So if we do stats.statistics, I think that was that, unless it was a part of an array again. Hopefully it was not. Yeah, it might have been. Let me just take a look again. See this, this log? that it gives us is a horrible log because it doesn't actually show us where things start and where they end. Anyway, so this is this page info equals, so this curly bracket starts here, closes here, then e tag, that's gonna go until here. Then after this comma, we have items. And in this items, we have, there it is. That's an array again of items. And in that array, we have the statistics. Okay, let's get to that items things. So that's basically an array of videos, apparently. And if we log it, see this will give us this now, it's an array. And the first argument in that array, so if we get to items zero, that will get us inside of that array and that should get us to our statistics. That was a lot of steps in to get to that. Here we go. Now we get our dislike count, like count, view count. So if you wanted view count, that would be dot view count for that video. So if I run this, 
apparently 524,000 views. Let's take a look. That was that video called My Entire Guitar Collection, right? So 521K. But if I go to the actual video page, we should have, see, 524. Okay, so that worked fine. So we were able to get to that view count of that video. Now, what if we want to get view count for multiple videos, right? So let's just keep this in mind. I'm just gonna put this as a comment on a different line. And the way you do it for multiple videos, you have to provide those IDs separated by a comma. So if I want it for two videos, I'm going to have to have this second ID here and I have to comma separate that second ID. Zoom out a little bit. And if I run this to get the stats, now it should give me, see, this is the first video counts. And then I have my other video counts, which is this one apparently. It gives them in the same order, so that's good at least. So we're gonna have this items that's gonna give us items array, so that's why you get an array because apparently you can get multiple of those. Okay, that makes sense. So stats.items will give us that array. And now we should have array of those videos and their view counts, first and the second one. And we should be able to loop through that and get the results. Now, before we start looping through this and get the results, so how do we get this without going back there and getting every single one of these arrays and copy pasting that, right? We're obviously not gonna do that. So what we will do instead, so if you remember this mod res thing, So that mod resting had the ID and had the title. So we need a list of all of these IDs. So I'm gonna map through that and just get all of these IDs to one single array without all this array of arrays. Now to do that, we'll do map. We need to do our function. And all of these will go to a list of IDs. And each one of those, I'll call it res for results, I guess. And we're gonna return res. And the first one in the array was the ID. So if you don't understand what I'm doing with all of this, like, map functions. I have videos covering all of these array methods. Watch those to understand what I'm doing here. I'm not gonna go over that. This should get us all the IDs to a single array. So let's just check it, make sure it works. So there is our list of arrays. What we need to do, we need to create one string out of this that will give us something like this. So what we have is an array, but what we actually need is text of comma separated IDs. And we can do that by using our join method. And we're gonna join those using a comma. Although I think by default it's a comma, so I think if you don't do anything, it's just gonna do comma, but we'll be more specific about it, I guess. So if we look here, now it see, doesn't have those array brackets, but what we do have is all of these IDs are basically put together with a separating comma. So now we have that list of IDs the way we need them. So if I just grab that and now plug it in here, and we just get this log, of those stats. 
that should give us the a nice array of all those videos with all their accounts and all this other information about it. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this and map it to an array that doesn't have all of this object stuff, just something that's more Google Sheets friendly. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna map it again. So you'll see how I'm gonna be using this map a lot. So again, if you don't understand this, you should definitely just watch my array method videos to see what's happening here. And that will be, again, for each result. So what we're gonna have to give back as a result, if only I could remember what we had there. So, well, it's gonna be an array for each row, but we need, well, I'm actually gonna keep this ID as one of those things so I can see side by side to make sure it's putting right IDs in the right places. So I'll do res.id as one of the things. Let's see what else we have there. So we have id. The next one is gonna go in statistics, but in statistics we have this different thing. So we have statistics.viewCount, that's one of those things. And I think I had that here. And instead of doing this, it's gonna be rest.statistics.viewCount because each result, remember, so this one thing from here until the next one here, that's the each res argument. And inside of that, we have the ID, we have the statistics, and statistics on its own turn has the view count. It also has the like count. Let me grab the like count too. Why not do that? So that's again inside of statistics. So we need to repeat this part. Something like that. Let's store this in a variable. We'll call it var vid stats. Copy and log this out to make sure there's nothing funny happening there. Run that. Look at the log. So here we go. We have the ID, we have the view count, we have the like count. And then the next video, next video, next video. Now this should be a friendly array because it's an array of arrays for our Google Sheets. So we can just plug this back into our spreadsheet. So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do, well, this I don't need anymore. I'm gonna open this line. I'm just gonna copy that line and paste because much of that is gonna be the same. So this was that first two columns of IDs and titles. Now I'm just gonna add this extra columns here to the right. Now we're gonna be writing that information for the second row again. The column is gonna be now here, the third column. So three. And the number of results is gonna be whatever we have here, the count, and we need to get the same here, the length, and we need to just place those results there. So that's pretty much all we have to do there. Let me just run this, see what we get. Zoom out a little bit. Let's just make sure our IDs match. Yeah, so it seems to just return those in that particular order, but something is wrong here. Oh, there it is, see there's this undefined. I thought that would happen at some point, and it did, look at that. So we need to take care of that part. We need to go back to figure out what's going on here. So I'm just gonna uncomment these things actually comment them. So the one that was giving us this issue was this one, this. I'm gonna copy the text so I can search and find what's going on there, right? So I'm gonna just log this results again to see what's going on there.
just not getting us all of the results here because we have too many apparently so let's do items maybe we'll get more What a mess. I'm just gonna have to filter to this title to see what's going on with it because our log simply doesn't give us long enough results so we can see what's happening. So I'm gonna do filter. And is it title in there or is it snippet dot title? So snippet title. So we're just going to filter these to only get that one to see what's going on in this log. So again, I have this filter method covered too. Ah, see this ID? I was curious why this was giving us this. This is the kind YouTube channel. The other ones used to be kind YouTube video just to show you. So, so that makes sense. At some point, we're going to get some results that are not videos. It's going to be just channel results. See, this is ID kind YouTube video. And the other one was kind YouTube channel. So we probably don't want to get channels here. So we need to just filter this to just have videos. So I need to filter this results to just have kind YouTube videos in them. Okay, so which means in here before we even get to doing all of that we need to just filter these results that we're getting back and it's going to be sr we're going to filter and it's going to be a callback function let's just do the same res and we're going to return So we need to get only those where that res, I think it was dot ID dot kind. The kind of that is, see the kind, yeah. YouTube video. So we only want to get those, we don't want the rest. And we'll just save it back to the same SR variable to filter the rest. So this will just clean this SR to remove all the channel stuff. And then we should be able to move on and run the rest of our code the same way we did it before. Let's test this out. I'm going to clear those comments. Let me just delete what's in here for now. and rerun our code and hopefully it should just be the videos with no extra stuff in there. Cannot find function filter in object uh, because that's SR items. That's what we want to filter. We need to filter dot items filter and I guess we're gonna have to save this to a new variable we'll call it vids only and now instead of doing SR items I'll just do vids only where else did we do that stats items I don't think we have to do it there 
Okay, so this is this. So now we shouldn't have that undefined thing. And we don't. That looks good. And our IDs are a match left and right. That's good. I don't think we need to keep the second ID columns. I mean, you could, but I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to go back here in this array that I return. I'm just going to remove this ID. And remember, I just kept this so I could make sure they actually match in the position when it's returned. So now we should be able to grab that. This column is gone. So this is our views. And this is our likes. And you could obviously just make this pretty. Something like that. So there it is. Now we were able to go to YouTube, search for something, get our results, bring it back, get views, likes. Obviously, you could add more columns here as well. Here, remember this max results. So you can only get 50 results. And if you wanted to get more than 50, if I just log this out, when you do a search together with those results, see, it's going to give you all these items, but it also gives you this next page token. So this will allow you to use that token to search again to get the next 50 results. And then the next result will give you another 50. So every time you're gonna get a new token and you could use it to get another 50 results if you need more than 50. That would be a little more complex. So I'm not gonna go over that part, just wanted to overall just explain you what's going on there when you need more than 50. But other than that, that should be enough for this video. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.